Hello, my beautiful Taurus. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So as per usual, I will be starting off with an oracle and we can clarify the existing energies with tarot. Okay. We have high honor here, okay? So this could speak about, you know, um, someone being in a position of authority. It could be someone who is, um, you know, being celebrated by many. It's kind of giving me the energy of the Six of Wands um, in Tarot. But I also see it as someone who is kind of holding you on a pedestal or they do value you, okay? So they're grateful for what they have with you. They do value you as a person here. Um, and we do also have the card number 25, Okay, so there's some sort of a significant change happening in this bond. I definitely see it as someone who is not only realizing what they have, but it could also be, you know, wanting to create a change with you or wanting more progress with you. I just see something about a significant change here, but um, let's clarify what's going on. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Some of you may be dealing with an Aquarius. We have the star card on the bottom of the deck here. And then we also have the sun card. Wow. So you could be dealing with the Leo. Star card and sun card. This person feels like you're extremely special. You know, the star card and the sun card is not only someone feeling like you make them extremely happy. They feel like what you guys have, there's almost an energy of feeling like it's irreplaceable. This person could also be having very vivid dreams about you with the star card. Um, and I also see that there is a lot being illuminated to this person when it comes to this connection, more specifically when it comes to you. <clears throat> and I see it as a positive thing, like someone feeling like what you guys have is very rare. They may feel like, you know, the qualities that you possess are very special. So I'm going to start off by seeing how they're viewing you this week, Taurus. Wow, bottom of the deck is your energy here. Let's see, Eight of Swords. They're viewing you as someone who feels very mentally stuck. They may feel like you are thinking about them, but you're not really sure what your next steps are. Um, now, if it's not that, they could also be viewing you as someone who's mentally stuck because there's something that you're holding on to. Eight of Swords is more of like a self-imposed mental prison, okay? So this person feels like you're thinking about this connection, but something is causing you to feel stuck. It could be your thoughts. It could be something that occurred between the both of you in the past here. But they feel like you're not really sure what to do moving forward. And they definitely feel this stagnant energy between you both. I also feel here, guys, like this person is viewing you as someone who's really up in your head this week. So like maybe it's visible to this person, like you could work with them and maybe you bump into them um, or, or, you know, again, like if you work with them, they do see you on a daily basis. There's something about them feeling like you're really up in your head. It doesn't necessarily have to be that they feel like you're up in your head just about this situation, but they feel like you're going through a very stressful time. Like you have a lot of responsibilities or you have a lot that you need to do. You have a lot that you're thinking about. Almost an energy of feeling very mentally overwhelmed is how they're viewing you. And that could be the reason why they, or they feel like it's stemming from a space of feeling overwhelmed. Um, and it's, and it's leading to not knowing, no, not knowing what to do about this connection moving forward. <clears throat> six of cups and the eight of wands this person really wants to speak to you you may be receiving um, communication from this person that you don't expect it could be very um, impulsive or like fast moving but the eight of wands is also a card of manifestation and so when we have the six of cups and the eight of wands coming out in the challenge position pretty much why your person feels challenged this week very simple is because you guys are not speaking to each other and they're missing you. You know, Six of Cups is when you're feeling very nostalgic. And there's something about this person thinking about how the um, communication between the both of you was in the past. And it's making them very sad because that's no no longer how it is in the, in the now, if you will. 
So they may be, you know, this may be someone that you were communicating to, you know, very frequently, possibly even on a daily basis. And now they're kind of like, wow, Taurus and I don't speak at all. So it's really affecting them. What's affecting them is the communication. I mean, sure, it could be the fact that you guys are not communicating right now as you're watching my read, but they're also thinking about how you guys used to communicate quite frequently. And that's also bothering them. I also see something, I'm getting the this download again, something about vivid dreams, Taurus, or like this person having visions about what you guys were supposed to uh, be or what you guys were supposed to have together. And so not only are they feeling nostalgic, Six of Cups is an energy of, you know, should have, would have, could have energy. Maybe I should have said this. Maybe if I had said this, then things would have transpired differently. So there's a lot of uh, almost like reminiscing on the past, um, but there's a heavy emphasis on the communication. This could also be someone who is, you know, rereading old text messages or conversations between you both. If it's like a phone call, maybe they're just like replaying it or revisiting it in their mind. How are you viewing them? Seven of Wands. You feel like this person is, you know, very defensive this week. You feel like they're very determined to stick by what they said instead of seeing your perspective on things. Is that why you feel stuck? Or is that why this person is viewing you as someone who's mentally stuck? Because <clears throat> what I see here, Taurus, is the way that you're viewing this person, you know, Seven of Wands could be read as having set very clear boundaries. But what I'm seeing here for you, Taurus, is that you feel this person is more determined to stick by what they said because you guys are not agreeing on something. So you feel like maybe there is a chance for you guys to agree to disagree or maybe there's a chance for some sort of a discussion, but this person is not letting their guard down. So they want some so you feel like they want something to work out the way that they want it to or there is an ongoing issue but they're not really willing to let their guard down so that you guys can work on it. And so it's causing you to feel very like I said mentally stuck. Like, well, then what do you want me to do about it, right? Like if you're not going to let your guard down or you're not going to see things from my perspective, I'm not really sure um, you know, what my uh, next steps should be. You may also view this person as someone who has difficulty opening up, especially when it comes to the emotional department. You could view them as someone who is very defensive or they... They are easily offended by what you say, even if it is coming from a good space, even if it means that you're saying something in hopes that, you know, it's it's for the betterment for the both of you. You may feel like they kind of take it out of context or they always see the dark side of things as opposed to the light side. Does that make sense, Taurus? Like, you know, when you're trying to speak to someone and, and you're telling them, you know, your honest truth because you want to work things through with them, but you may feel like they take it the wrong way. Or they're, you know, easily um, offended, which could be really hard to have a converse, an, an open conversation at least with someone who's very defensive, right? Because it's going to turn into an argument or it's going to turn into, you know, bickering, whatever it is. So there is an energy of you wanting this person to let their guard down so that you can be open with them. But because they're not letting their guard down, you're feeling stuck. So in your emotions, we have the Princess of Wands, Prince of Pentacles. You guys may be dealing with the fire sign or there's something, there's like a, a level of excitement that comes with this bond with this person. Like you may feel like there's a lot of passion and I'm very excited to communicate with this person, but I want things to feel more grounded. I want things to feel more stable. This may be an individual that you have a lot of fun with, but you're wanting it to turn into something more, but you feel like that's not able to happen until this person lets their guard, guard down. Like it could be when you guys are having a good time, this person's fine, or you guys can converse about pretty much anything. But when it comes to the emotional department or speaking about taking things to the next level, you definitely feel a block. We have the Ten of Wands in your feelings and we have the World card. A part of you feels like you need to let go of some sort of hurt or pain. For others of you, it could be feeling like you need to let go of the connection as a whole. Because the Tens in general, they speak about completion. But then we have the World card, which is one cycle coming to an end. Like this is someone where this week you feel like there's so much distance between the both of us. But I'm still thinking about you or I'm still thinking about this connection. But then there's so much distance between the both of us. I don't know if there could be anything done to fix this. If there could be anything done to close this emotional gap. 
And so the Ten of Wands in the world card in your feelings could be you trying your best to accept this ending, even though it feels very difficult. So the reason why it feels very difficult for you, Taurus, is the Ten of Wands could be when you're carrying a load all on your own. So do you feel like you received the short end of the stick in this connection? Do you feel like, um, you know, when it, when it came to the separation, you didn't receive a form of closure? Some of you feel like you don't necessarily have anyone around you that understands what you're going through. So with the Ten of Wands in the World card, that could be like, okay, this is a very tough cycle for me to close, but I need to do it. But it's even more difficult because I'm doing it on my own. So some of you could be could have wanted a, a bit of closure from this person, but you're starting to think, well, if there's so much distance between us both, is it realistic for me to think that I'm going to receive some sort of closure? Is it realistic of me to think that this person is going to let their guard down? Two of Wands, clarifying the Six of Cups and the Princess of Swords. I do believe this person is very curious about you. There could even be an energy of spying, whether it's, you know, via social media, tarot readings, um, you know, mutual friends. But the Two of Wands lets me know that this person is definitely wondering, well, what is going to happen? Because not only do they still feel connected to you, there is a question about the future. There is a question of, are we going to be able to, um, you know, speak to each other again? Are we going to, you know, bump into each other? And so the Princess of Swords clarifying the Eight of Wands is not only someone who wants to communicate with you, they're trying to figure something out about you before this communication happens. So for example, if they're fearing rejection, it could be that they want to know if they're going to be rejected before they speak to you. They, there's something here they're trying to figure out on their own. I think it would really bother this person to come in and speak to you and know that you guys are not on the same page. They do want to speak to you, but there's a little bit of fear. There's a little bit of, well, how is this going to play out? And with the Two of Wands, like I said, there's definitely a question of what does the future hold? Because I still feel the connection on an emotional level, but is something actually going to happen in the future? Okay, what's going on in their feelings? Temperance. Some of you may be dealing uh, with a Sagittarius. They definitely want more peace between the both of you. And here's the thing. They actually feel that the both of you work very well together. They just feel like right now you guys are not at a point where you're at peace with the situation or you guys, um, they feel like there's a lack of mutual understanding here. Seven of Swords. Hmm. Why the Seven of Swords in their feelings? Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. This may be someone who feels like they were dishonest with you in the past with that Seven of Swords energy. That could obviously be a lack of honesty, someone who is purposely hiding something from you or just not being all the way open. If it's not about, you know, dishonesty pertaining to their lifestyle and that sort of thing, it could just be someone who feels like they downplayed their emotions uh, for you or walked away from a situation um, feeling like that was the best decision for them when they knew it was not. This is very interesting, guys, but for some of you, um, like in this person's feelings, what I see is like this person feels like they walked away from a situation they were not ready to walk away from. You may be in a runner chaser dynamic or someone who really struggles with um, having, or I should say someone who really struggles with emotional intimacy, being open and, and expressing how they feel. Because with the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups, Seven of Swords, what they're not telling you is they're reevaluating their decision. They're thinking, okay, well, I did walk away from this, but then why am I thinking about wanting to work on it again? You know what I mean with the Eight of Pentacles? It's like, if I really walked away from the situation because I felt like there was nothing there, why am I thinking about it now? And um, the thoughts of actually putting forth more effort or rebuilding are coming to mind. So they're definitely reevaluating their decision. This could also be someone who's like burying their self in work or trying to keep busy so that they're not thinking of you. But I think that the main thing that they want here or what I see in their feelings is making peace with some sort of dishonesty. So temperance and seven of swords could be uh, this person owning up to something that they've said. Or, you know, if this was the case of ghosting, they feel like it was, um, you know, dishonest of them to just leave you hanging without an explanation and they want to, you know, explain themselves to you. But I also see it as someone who's definitely reevaluating their de their decision. Something that they felt like was the best thing to do or was, you know, the best solution for them doesn't really seem, it doesn't really seem that way now is what I'm getting at. 
Okay, so we have the King of Swords coming out in the potential outcome, and we have the Prince of Wands. What's the King of Swords? Four of Cups, Prince of Wands, Strength card. I see a bit of fear when it comes to reaching out to you. But the King of Swords and the Four of Cups, guys, is like someone who's trying to accept the ending with you, but they're unhappy about it. As much as I see the silence may continue this week, there's an energy of like, yes, I want to speak to you. Yes, I want to see things through. But there's a lot of regret that this person is not showing you. King of Swords may be someone who's, uh, you know, uh, almost like acting or appearing as if things are okay or they've made the right decision and they're even coming off a bit aloof, detached. But Four of Cups is someone who's not happy in the present moment. So this person is not happy with the current dynamic or how things are, uh, you know, progressing between you both. But it seems to me that they're having a hard time expressing that to you. This is a very specific reading, but for those of you that are resonating with it, I do believe that this is someone who really struggles with opening up to you emotionally. This may be a case of self-sabotage. Hmm. So let's see what they want to communicate to you. And King of Swords and Four of Cups could be that this person's demeanor is very... You can't really read how they're feeling. Maybe they're poker face, but Four of Cups is a lot of regret. It's it's either too much of a focus on the past or the future, but it's pretty much when you're not, you know, in the current moment, you're not uh, present. Okay, so let's see. It says you broke my heart, okay, guys? So I'm not here to play, you know, the blame game, guys, but maybe this person does feel like you broke their heart or there's a, you know, a level of hurt here, okay? Even if it means you felt some hurt and so did uh, they. I am waiting patiently, okay? So they could be waiting for a sign, especially with that two of wands energy. But I did say there's a focus on the future. There's a focus on, you know, where do we go from here? I can't do this. And, you know, this message, it's coming through very strongly because I do feel like it's someone who knows they need to open up emotionally or it's someone who knows that they need to leave um, or leave their comfort zone or being with you may require them to do that, but they don't feel ready to. It's like walking, it, it, it almost seems to me that this person walked away from a situation that could potentially make them happy because they were fearing the worst case scenario. I don't know what comes next. So yeah, there's a lot of confusion when it comes to, you know, the future of this connection. And I feel like this person is starting to realize maybe the role that they played in their, um, sorry, I almost dropped the deck here, but the role that they played in their suffering. And it could also be, again, like what's coming through to me is like a case of self-sabotage or someone expecting the worst to happen before uh, things got started here, really. And, and I think what's um, holding back the communication is the fact that this person is very defensive okay so let's see what needs to be surrendered in this connection this may be a message that applies to you or your person Okay, so it says surrender to your full power. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. Okay, so like I said, this could be a message for you, Taurus. It could be your person. But I feel like this is a message for the person that is sabotaging this connection. Because it seems to me that there's a lot of potential here. But there's an energy that's like, you know what, I'm not deserving of this. Or this is not going to work out the way that I want it to. And that is what's creating a block here. And it says your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it it's small. This is a message for someone who feels that, you know, this is a connection that would require them to leave their comfort zone. So let's pull out an angel message for you guys. I, I genuinely feel like it's, you know, there's a lot of potential here, but the block that needs to be removed is being more open emotionally and not walking away from a situation that could potentially make you very happy, right? Um, okay, let's see. Look at this, guys. Um, the angel message, uh, or we have two cards. So the first one is you're ready. 
and compromise. This may be a connection that does require some sort of compromise, especially if you are two very different individuals or you guys have two very different outlooks. But the first card that came out is you're ready. So I feel like, you know, all the messages are going hand in hand with someone here who feels like they are not ready or they are not, or something is not going to work out the way that they want it to, but they're just prolonging the process of, uh, you know, being in a connection that's actually meant for them. And I feel like that's why the star card as well as the sun card came out when I opened your spread. That has a lot to do with, it could be a spiritual awakening or more so of like a realization. Like I'm in my own way or what is bothering you or what is limiting you is being illuminated. Okay. So my wonderful Taurus, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.